G'day, I'm Steve Hay and welcome to Woodworking Masterclass. Today I have a very special guest dropping by, Mike Davis from Record Power and also a master wood carver in his own right. And he's going to share some tips, tricks and techniques about wood carving with you and also some wonderful insights into a system that he has developed and in conjunction with Record Power has come out with a range of products that makes wood carving much, much simpler and far less confusing. And it is phenomenal. Have a, have a check, see. And you don't have to remember all those numbers like um, 8, 10 and 7, 4 and uh, 74B and uh, 211, it, it's all there. Even I can function on that level from 1 to 12. Well, 1 to 10, I might struggle with the last two. But 1 to 12, that's it. And they're all in the box. And with the box, I'm sure he's going to plug it, so I told him to plug it ruthlessly. There is, there's a DVD that has got carving techniques on it. And... There's a book, but even better than that, you got the man live here and he's going to do live demos. Mike, come over here. Come over. You've got to stand close to me. We only met on the weekend, but the reason you've got to stand close is because I've got the microphone and I'm going to give it to him in a moment. So, Mike, welcome to Woodworking Masterclass. Thank you very much. We're going to do three things. The first is take a very quick look at my background and how I got into carving. Secondly, I think we will talk about the education and how that's evolved. And finally, we'll get into it. We're going we're gonna to start to do some technique and then we'll apply that into a, into a little project. My background, I, I left school at 16 and I uh, went straight into an apprenticeship. I was so lucky. Um, I, I just had this passion for wood and woodworking. Didn't really know what I wanted to do or how I was going to apply that. And I, by chance, uh, met a gentleman who was a wood carver, but not just any old wood carver. He was uh, doing some amazing work for Heritage England and for the royals uh, overseas and, and at home. And so I stood next to Ron, Ron Hester, um, for uh, five years. There was two apprentices in his workshop. He would be on the middle bench and I would be on that side and... My mate Gary was on the, on the other one, and, and there we worked for six days a week, probably 10 hours a day, and we just learned from a, an amazing guy. This sort of stuff, uh, I guess here, this, um, if you've seen the sort of furniture that's covered in gold, you'd see it in, in uh, like stately homes and palaces, uh, particularly in Europe and the UK. And beneath that, beneath the gold, was carved timber. Uh, this is going back 1700, 17, 1800 in terms of, of the years. And um, oftentimes this would come in cardboard boxes. It would be broken up because it was so delicate, you know. It was, um, so we had to piece it all together, work out what bits were missing and replace it. Uh, so restore it, not only in the style of the period in time from which it was from, but also in the style of the carver, because we had to make sure that it was you, that you couldn't see it had been restored. I guess I was just so fortunate to have landed in that position where, for five years, I got to work on on that sort of um, on that sort of furniture. So I loved the environment so much. I didn't really want to leave Ron and and the environment that we worked in. So I studied another three years. We did. Um, adult education and, and at that point I was asked to write for magazines to find a way to teach carving to a beginner not and it's not necessarily uh, someone who particularly wants to learn how to carve I think there's a massive cross-section of woodworkers if you're a furniture maker you might just want to add some lettering um, if you're a turner it might just be a little bit of embellishment that you want to add and so I think there's a massive cross-section of woodworkers who want to learn how to carve it's just very difficult to know where to start so traditional woodworking magazine back in oh, gosh I don't know when over oh, 28 years ago wow I guess um, said can we devise a simple carving course and so so now we talk about the next bit is how the education evolved and um, 
when you want to start out in carving, I think the difficulty is, maybe the off-putting point is, is that there are so many different carving tools. So you've got the variation of the sweep or the arc, the variation in the width, but then you've got variations in the shape of the tool also, in the shape of, we call this the shank. The shank is the bit of steel between the handle and the cutting edge. So we just came up with five profiles of tool. You know, Pareto's principle, it's that 80-20 rule, that 80% of your work is often done with 20% of your toolkit, and it's like that with carving. You might have 200 different carving tools on your bench, but for most jobs you just kind of pick up just the same ones, you, you, there's, there's a, that common few that you pick for most jobs, so those are the profiles that we chose. The most important aspect of learning to carve, in actual fact, is the technique because you're going to use the same technique, it doesn't matter if you're going to carve uh, sculpture or it doesn't matter if you're doing architectural carving, if you're carving a duck or a fish, you're still going to use to, to the large part the same technique. So with a limited selection of tools we're going to focus on the technique and then we're going to give you a selection of projects that you would follow step by step to practice the technique. So it's not really about learning how to carve the project, the project drums in the technique. So that was the principle that we started off with this magazine all of those years ago. All of those articles ended up getting published into a book and then since then of course we've it evolved into a DVD and, and now I, I actually put the contents of the book as PDF documents which are available free um, and they're available online and I'm going to give Steve all of those PDF documents that he can host on his website and they're available for you to download absolutely um, with, no, with no issue at all. We had education which is a set of tools, we've numbered the tools and basically you work step by step through a series of projects and that helps you learn the technique. So we really focus on sharpening, you've got your DVD shows you visually the six techniques. That's your beginner's little project. That project in itself, once you master that with the six techniques that we'll show you, you will be able to do any selection of the other projects. If you wanted to carve that, the PDF and the step-by-step -step education, here you can see the number of tools now these profiles of tools match perfectly to the profiles of tools that's in that set. You don't necessarily have to buy these tools, it's just that these fit perfectly the education, but you could actually match your tools to the profiles on, on this sheet if you already have your tools. But the idea is, is that you use the technique that I'll show you, and then you can see how we work step by step to get to the end result It'll tell you the tool number to use, the technique to use, until, we, until you get your finished project. And it even gives you a plan. There's a bunch of projects, but basically it's not about carving a Tudor rose. It's about going through the technique. And let's get into the technique now. Shall I show you the techniques I'm going to use? All right, okay.